Hey everybody, this is Everyday Commentary. I've been working on another video series called Is It Better Than a Sabenza? And so the first knife I wanted to take a look at is the Sabenza versus the Mini Old Guard from Monterey Bay Knives. As you can see, the Mini Old Guard is roughly the same length, but is uh, quite a bit wider. I mean, th this is not a, a spindly or small knife. This is a chunk of a blade. Uh, it weighs 3.6 ounces, and you can tell it weighs 3.6 ounces. The Sabenza weighs three ounces and is noticeably lighter in the hand. Um, these knives are very, very similar in a lot of ways. They have sort of this basic elemental style to them. Very simple, clean lines. They're both uh, thumb stud deployments. They're both uh, drop point blades, as you can see here. Really beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful ZDP 189 uh, sandwich blade. Uh, the stonewashed uh, S45 VN on the Sabenza. Uh, I do think that, that Chris Reeves still does the best stone washing. This is a great little knife with a great little blade. So let's talk about whether it's better than a Sabenza. And I think that overall, I'm going to say that the, the Monterey Bay Knives is not better than a Sabenza. It is cheaper by a substantial margin. It's almost $200. Well, so this is $375 and this was $220. So it's a substantial price difference. Um, but I still think that even if you factor in the price difference, if you are a knife enthusiast, you're going to prefer a Sabenza over the Monterey Bay Knives Mini Old Guard. And let me break down a couple reasons why. So first of all, this is kind of a strange thing, but the action on this knife is not bad. It's not good though, either. It's just okay. Uh, it's on uh, phosphor bronze washers, which is the same thing that the Sabenza rides on, but it does not have that like nudge the stud bump out. I mean, you got to really make a concerted wrist uh, thumb flick. It'll come out, but it's not in mean, this knife. You can just sort of hit it to a certain point. And it'll pop out and that that uh, there you go. That balance is something that's difficult to achieve and it requires some really good machining and some good tuning on the detent. But I do think that the deployment is better on the Sabenza than on the old guard. Uh, in terms of steel, I prefer the ZDP 189 to the S45VN, but it's probably not a rational thing. ZDP 189, as Laren Thomas has written a number of articles on, is really close to not being a stainless steel. In fact, I think he would characterize it as a non-stainless steel because it has such a high carbon content and a relatively low chromium content um, compared to the amount of carbon. I love ZDP 189. It was on, it's on my favorite version of the Dragonfly. It's on the Cali 3. It's a really, really great uh, knife steel. And this is a beautiful, just absolutely beautiful blade on the uh, Mini Old Guard. And so as much as I like the Stonewash and the S45VN, I prefer the ZDP 189, although I think that probably the S45VN is a better all around steel. Um, so I would give that to the mini old guard. Here's one thing that I'm really sort of blown away by. In an era in which the Benchmade bug out has made everybody get more size and weight conscious on the knife, the mini old guard is sort of like a flashback to the 2013 era where everyone was like, yeah, it's under four ounces. Thanks. Don't bother us. You know, that was the, uh, the attitude before the bug out came out and like just sold like hotcakes. This is a big, thick, chunky knife. And while I love the sculpted handles and the micarta, paper micarta handle scales, I think that I would prefer a slimmer knife. And this is not a knife where they haven't done efforts. I mean, look, you can see the weight reduction pockets. They're just not, not big at all. And then the blade itself, the blade stock on this knife is pretty thick. I mean, the Sabenza is not like the sliciest blade in the world, but as you can see, it's noticeably thinner than the blade stock on the Mini Old Guard. Um, the pocket clip, I think I like the pocket clip on the Sabenza a little up, a little bit better. The double dip pocket clip angled this way just gives you a great sort of um, easy way to hold on to the knife. It's folded 
for me, it folds right into my index finger. So the, the place where it would be a hot spot actually hits my index finger, which is pretty good. Uh, I am fully aware of the fact that the small Sebenza works better with small or medium sized hands. So if you have different hand sizes, it might not be as comfortable. You might have to go up to the large, but I think that the handle design and the clip design is better thought out. You know, this is a pretty clip, but it's pretty squared off in the back. It's not, I mean, it's got some okay spring tension to it, but it's a little bit, you know, meh. I like stamped steel pocket clips better anyway than sculpted titanium pocket clips. Um, so the final thing, and I think this is really the thing that tips me in favor of the Sebenza. This is just a really compact, taut knife. I mean, one thing that people don't talk about a lot with the Sebenza is it is not a tall blade at all. You're getting, I mean, it's not quite like a, a Quaken where the entire blade hides in the handle, but if they like took this instead of curving it and just made it a straight line across, that would absolutely be the case. I mean, this is a very compact, very tight design. There is no wasted space on the Sebenza. And while there's no wasted space here either, it's just everything is a little bit taller. It's like, you know, 10% taller than the Sebenza, and the end result is it's a knife that's just too big. So um, I don't dislike the Mini Old Guard. I'm sure it will score well because of the way the testing or the scoring system works. But if you had the money to buy both of these, I would probably say you should buy the Sebenza. That being said, if you are not an enthusiast, this is definitely the knife to buy. Because all of the things that make a Sebenza better than this knife are things that really only an enthusiast is going to notice and care about. So in this round of is it better than a Sebenza, the mini old guard is not better than a Sebenza.